كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليدبروا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers and sisters, Allah warns us in revelation to stay away from arrogance. Now, if you want to reconnect with Allah, you need to deal with your pride. If you have pride and arrogance, you will not be able to reconnect with Allah or with revelation. So when you want to become a better person, one of the first things you need to ask yourself, do I have pride and arrogance in me? Pride is not referring to wearing good clothes or having a lovely car, a beautiful home, uh, earning a lot of money, taking pride in your dress. That's not the pride that's prohibited. That is something that is normal and natural. Everyone wants to have good things. Pride is when you despise others, belittle them, when you reject the truth that has come to you just because you think I'm above it. That's it. Then it's called pride. The hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says in a narration that anyone who has an atom's weight worth of pride in their hearts will not enter paradise. Now imagine if that is what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is saying regarding entering paradise, that anyone who has pride in their hearts won't enter paradise. You can imagine how serious it is. So this is why Allah says in the Quran as well, in Surah Al-Isra, وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحًا Verse number 37, do not walk on earth with arrogance, with pride. When you walk, when you drive, when you are moving on earth, you look at yourself, look at how you address people. Ask yourself, is this okay? Am I coming across as a person who's haughty? If the answer is yes, you have work to do. So ask Allah to protect you from pride. Make a supplication, call out to Allah. Dua every day, oh Allah, protect me from pride. Oh Allah, protect me from haughtiness because Allah is the greatest. So he says, Wala tamshi fil ard. Don't move on the earth. Masha means to walk. But what would be included in that is any form of movement on earth as you drive your car, as you fly your plane, as you're in your helicopter, as you have your little wings and flying around, perhaps as you're on your, uh, um, you know, the, the latest technologies and whatever else it may be. Remember, don't be arrogant. Greet people, fulfill their rights, smile at them at least, or have a good expression. Offer help and assistance where possible and applicable. Make sure that you're a kind person. That's what makes a believer. That's what will make you connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we ask Allah Almighty to protect us. And Allah says that even when you're talking to people, when you're addressing people, this is verse number 53 of Surah Al-Isra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُلِّ عِبَادِي يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنِ Tell my worshippers to say that which is the best, which is good, which is the best in terms of the way you've said it, the words you chose, and how you came across. All of that, if you are my worshipper, Allah is saying, you're going to be conscious about how you talk to people. Now from this verse, we learn that those who don't bother how they speak to others cannot call themselves true worshippers of the Almighty or they have a lot of work to do on themselves. And that's why we spoke in a previous episode about how important it is to apply wisdom when we are correcting people. However, here Allah Almighty clearly says, tell my worshippers that when they are speaking, they should say it in the best possible way, whatever they want to say. So for you to pause for a moment and think about how I'm going to come across, be it your wife, your children, your siblings, your parents, your in-laws, whoever it may be, a person who works for you or a person you work with or a person who works under you. You need to make sure you think of what you're saying. If you're a true worshiper of Allah, and if you really want to connect with Allah, watch out. 
don't say anything but the best. Imagine that's the wisdom that Allah is giving us in the Quran. Who would think that revelation came down and part of it was to guide me how to speak to people. Now imagine, if I am told to speak to others in the best possible way, with the best possible words, just for general day-to-day -day things, how important do you think it would be to use the best possible words when I'm conveying the message of the Almighty to others? People look at Islam as a faith and they say, these people are hard and harsh and they are this and that. And it's supposed to be the total opposite. We're supposed to be the most beautiful souls, the most calm. When we speak to people with respect, people should feel safe. Al-mu'minu man ammanahu nasu A true believer is the one whom all people feel safe and secure with. That's what it is. My brothers, my sisters, that is something amazing. Now, when someone doesn't agree and they don't want to believe and they don't want to, they might say some nasty things. They might say some really horrible things. What should you say as a result? Let's look at one example given straight after this in verse number 90 of Surah Al-Isra. Allah says the disbelievers told Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we're not going to believe in you until you do the following. So you do the following, then we will believe in you. So what should he do according to them? We want you to cause a spring to gush from the earth. Okay, that's number one. What if I do that? Well, he says, well, then they say that, Oh, we want you to have a plush garden filled with palms and grapes. And we want rivers to be flowing between all of that. Or we want you to cause the skies to fragment and drop on us in pieces as you have claimed. Or we want you to bring Allah and the angels in front of us. Bring Allah, bring the angels or cause the punishment that you said was going to come to us. Make the heavens or the skies fragment and drop on us. Bring for us gardens, bring for us uh, uh, grapes and dates and the palms and all these uh, springs that will gush forth from the earth. Imagine they're asking for all these things. It didn't stop there. Or we want to see you bring a house of gold, made of gold and jewelry. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Look at what they are asking. Just to believe that there is none worthy of worship besides your maker. That's what it was. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came with one simple message. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. Worship your maker alone. That's what he said. Because they didn't want that and they weren't prepared to connect with Allah himself or with revelation, they started saying, we demand this, we demand that, bring this, bring that. And finally they said, oh, we want you to have a, a home made of gold. Or we want you to go up to the heavens. Tarqa fi sama. You go up. Let's see. And we will not believe that you went up unless you come back to us with a book that we can read. So what did he say? Did he swear them? Just before that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the surah revealed, Kulli ibadi yaqulu ahsan. Tell my worshippers to say the most beautiful words. And now Allah is making mention of all the things they said to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Do you know what the response was? Qul subhana rabbi hal kuntu illa basharar rasula. As simple as that. A beautiful response to them. Say, ooh, glory be to my Lord. Was I anything besides a human as a messenger? You're asking me to do all of this. I'm a human being. Subhanallah. But guess what? If Allah wants, Allah can 
give and Allah can do and Allah has done. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another surah, Surah Al-Furqan, that if we wanted, we would have given you everything. Everything they ask and even beyond. But then we wouldn't have delayed their punishment if they didn't accept. The fact that we haven't given you all of that, we have delayed their punishment. May Allah Almighty have mercy on all of us and grant us goodness. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabina Muhammad. كتاب أنزلناه إليك مبارك ليدبروا آياته وليتذكر